Grunfeld defense, exchange variation, 5.NF3BG7. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. The dark squared bishop can develop because d4 takes up room in the middle. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Cx d5 captures the d5 pawn and opens up the c4 square. Nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn centralizes the knight and allows the dark squared bishop to attack the d4 pawn. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This ignores a more effective technique to strengthen a pawn's defense. It is incorrect. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This move makes it so the opponent cannot castle, inhibiting their development. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is forced. Recaptures. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable knight. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is best. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. It is incorrect. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a knight. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. 
the rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This results in a pawn being lost. It is a mistake. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. It falls flat. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It falls flat. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a knight. It is a blunder. This wins a knight. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is quite good. That rook was available for free. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This immobilizes the opponent's rook by pinning it to the king. It is excellent. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is quite good. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the start of the end game and white is losing. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This comes in several sections. It is quite good. This defends the attack rook. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 